I greet us all in Jesus' name. Shalom. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to thank God. Kwa sababu ya neema yake na baraka yake. Ubali huu ambao ametuleta in the year 2021. It is by the grace of God. According to how things look like at the beginning of the year. Remember we had just come from a very trying time uh, of year 2019. Where COVID-19 was so unpredictable. There was fear everywhere. We saw people die in thousands all over the world. We had a briefing, press briefing each day, both from international uh, platforms and local networks. We even had them in our own households, the reports and the fear that some things may not be going well. We heard about economies shutting down, collapsing. Kila mtu wa kiondoka, it was on, the, on our faces that we are at the attack. Took on our masks, took on our sanitizers, took on our social distance, which we continue to uphold even today. Na kwa hivyo kufika ubali hu, each one of us can look back and say, kweli kuna mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Ya kwamba kulikuwa na hatari nyingi, na mambo mengi, but by the grace of God, in your history, wakati utakuwa unanenea watu, utakuwa unawambia, I am the guy, I am the generation that withstood the powers and the darkness of COVID-19. Praise the name of the Lord. Utakuwa unawambia vizazi wengine, kwa sababu tutaishi. Utakuwa unawambia, mimi ni wa yule ile kisazi ya Bacho, kiriweza kupambana na corona na tukavuka. Because there is God in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. And so when we are looking back at day like today, we can be so excited. Being the last day of the 10th month of the year 2021. Unaweza angalia nyuma useme God. 10 months. You know what 10 months means? It means that you are above 300 days. Ambazo ni zamwaka. You have come almost the two that. You have crossed even the two that. Umebaki na only 61 days or 60 days. Na mwaka utakuwa umekwisha. Praise the name of the Lord. You know at 60. Wanasema at 60. You are not working to live. You are not working hard to have. At 60 you are a resource. At 60, you are slowing down. You are on your way to retirement. Ama tayari you may retire. You know, Kenya just refines the, the, the retirement age. But hapo previously, it 55 years. Kwa hivyo, at 60, number 60, tunakutanga ya kwamba ni number bayo umekoma. Kama ni mawaitha yako, uwezi danganya kama wewe ni, ni mtu ambaye ume, umelelewa na madili mema. Yani, mambo yako inakuwa imetulia. At 60, you must be an authority. Praise God. Na diyo maana tunafika katika 60 days. Tunataka kumaliza mwaka as people who will not be ashamed about the past 10 months and about the memories of year 2021. Praise the name of the Lord. So you know mkono wako mbele za buwana. Tell the Lord in the next 60 days. My Lord, I want to rewrite my story of 2021. Ninataka buwana unifanyie maisha mema. Uninue kiwango kingine. Hata neno lako buwana ikajulikane. The word I stood with, it worked for me. Kwa mana wewe ni muaminifu. Lord God, the next 60 days, oh God, keep us. And help us to conquer and finish well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And so friends, tuko katika siku ambayo inaangalia 60 na muna hii. Na ni siku tena ambayo inaangalia 10 months back. Na tunatangaza, we declare our stand today, henceforth. Praise the name of the Lord. Na diyo maana leo ni siku muhimu, I'm very excited even to be the preacher of on this day, 31st of October 2021. Ni kiangalia 60 days that are remaining and 10 months that are shutting. And I am here to determine what I want to be about what I have been. Praise the name of the Lord. Kama ni mejulikana kushindwa, in the 60 days, I am relighting my victory. Praise the name of the Lord. Whatever they knew about me of weakness, 
weakness, they will untie me in the strength and in strongholds ambazo hawajakuwa wamenijua na wataona mkono wa Bwana katika maisha yangu. Praise the name of the Lord. And so you must be excited friends about facing the future. Don't despair, don't give up, don't despise your humble beginnings, the things that have happened to you. Waja ku focus nazo even when we are talking about um, uh, sort analysis. Uh, one of the items there is weakness. They say do not spend your energy on your weaknesses but put more energy on your strengths. Praise the name of the Lord so that you can be able to conquer the threats. Ambazo zikombele yako. And so friends, we are here to encourage us to move forward. And the Lord has been speaking to us over this month of uh, October about saying it and doing it. When the Lord releases his word, aki, aki achilia neno lake, analifuata, analitenda. Watu wengi wanatuambia maneno wanatuahidi, na siwa tuwa kona rohobaya, lakini uwezo wakueka ahadi zao unaisha. But with our God, he is the all God who says, kwa sababu ye anajua mwisho kuanzia muanzo, he has the whole story from the end to the beginning, anaelewa, he akisha sema, Tembea na vile amesema. Praise the name of the Lord. And so ten times God said and it was in the book of Genesis. And so today I want us to see the last two things that God said and it was. Mambo ni matatu tumesema mambo saba ambayo buwana alisema na asha tuambia sisi because the word of the Lord is valid in all dispensations. The word of God does not expire with a generation. The word of the Lord lives forever and ever. Praise God. Jesus said that the heaven and the earth will disappear but the word of God will live all times. Na kwa hivyo wakati alinena in Genesis 1 alinenea sisi tuambapo tu Tumepato na Biblia na tuko katika ulimwengu wake. Praise the name of the Lord. He have said to us seven times. God said and it was. Now the three things that God said and he is saying to us today. And then we shall be ten strong of God's word saying and doing are these ones. One. I'm now on the eighth one. It is about Genesis chapter one and verses 26. Genesis chapter 1 and verses 26. This is what the Lord said in Genesis chapter 1 and verses 26. The Bible says, then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. The Bible says in verse 27, kindly, in verse 27, it continues to say this, in verse 27, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. At this point, we are in the likeness of God. In the beginning, God said, let us create. That is God speaking in his plural form. Saying, let us. So he is like speaking to himself because there is no one helping him to do. That is what we call Elohim. Yakwamba God in the plural. Yakwamba mungu katika wingi wake. Anasema, let us create man in our own image, in our own likeness, after us, after Mimi, after Sisi, to we vile ambavyo, awe vile ambavyo, to live you. God created man in his own image. And so the word of the Lord tells us in verse 27, he made, he created man in his own image, male and female. There is no one that is more in the image of God than the other. We are all in the image of God. In fact, in chapter 5, in Genesis chapter 5 and verses 1, this is what the word of the Lord would uh, uh, reiterate again and speak about the creation of God. The Bible says, this is the written account of Adam's life. When God 
created man, he made him in the likeness of God. He made him. Now this is a reported one. Ya kwamba alimuumba. You know, Moses is the one who, who was penning down the book of Genesis. Na anafika mahali, anatoka from quoting God, na sasa ana to reportia. He is now giving a reported information, a report of what God did in Genesis chapter 1. And now in chapter 5, we have the account, the report of what did really transpired wakati ule. Na kwa hivyo wapendoa, there is no confusion about whose image, whose likeness, or who is in more likeness than who. There is no confusion. All the mankind, all the human beings are in the likeness of God. They carry God in themselves. There is the element of God in them. They could be crippled. They could be uh, dwarfs. They could be the tallest. They could be the Chinese. They could be the Africans. They could be the white. They could be the Indians. They could be different category. So the image of God is not about the pigment of the color. It is not about the height, about the shortness and the length. It is not about how big or small you are. The image of God is the character of God that was put in us. Praise the name of the Lord. It is about the godliness. It's about that sense that tells you there is God. It is that thing that tells you unastairi kufanya hivi kwa sababu ya mungu. That is the image of God. Consciousness that you are aware there is more than who you are and what you have. Praise the name of the Lord. And so what is the message today from this word that God said let us create man in our own image. What is the message here god will perfect your image praise the name of the lord kwa nini bado unangangana katika maisha kwa nini umebeba mungu lakini haitendeki today receive the message the god who said and it was he said let us create man and they made a man he will perfect the image of him in your life Praise God. Listen to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verses 20. Why will God perfect his image? Because we are this. The Bible says we are therefore Christ's ambassadors. We carry the ambassadorial mandate. We represent God. Look at what Paul says as he continues to expound to us. As though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Paul is saying that the people you see today, they are not the ordinary men and the women of God. The people who have come to the saving knowledge of Jesus, they are in the revised version of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Yekwamba tunanena. Kama ambassadors, ukiona ni kiongea, you must hear Christ imploring. You must hear Christ calling you, rebuking you, telling you do this, do this. I am no longer myself in my weakness. I am now in an office, my version. Praise the name of the Lord. The image of God in me is that of fully representing God in my time. And in the right manner that I am manipulated to do. You are to do things as God does them. Mutu ambaye ako katika the image, katika mfano wa mungu, hata matendo yake, ya nastahiri kuandamana na matendo ya ile ofisi. Yule ambaye anawakilisha mahali pale, anastahiri kusimama. Dio mana paulu anasema, we are there for Christ's abode. Ambassadors. Praise the name of the Lord. Anataka kuatangazia in the church of Corinth. Ya kwamba if you are walking down the streets of Decapolis. If you are walking down the streets of Bethlehem. If you are visiting Corinth or anywhere. In the sea, in the air or wherever. Hauta kutana na Yesu tena. Kama kuna Yesu utakutana nae ni dani yangu. I am the ambassador here. Praise the name of the Lord. He is stamping his feet and saying don't look for Jesus anywhere else. I I am the ambassador. I represent Christ. When I speak, hear ye him. Praise the name of the Lord. Akiongea na akitenda. And so the men and the women of God who know 
that they carry the mandate of Jesus. They carry the power of God. There is a certain lifestyle. There is a certain manner that you must live in. So for you to have the full. Praise the name of the Lord. To have the full rights. To even invest for God. To even transact for God. For you to do business for God. Praise God. Something must happen. The Bible would say this. There are things that God said. Because this is about the relationship. You are to do things as God does them. When God did put man in the garden. He was to work. The relationship was work. Lakini kuna mahali mungu walisema, even as you work, in the, ten, in, the, in the Ten Commandments, the Fourth Commandment in Asema, remember the Sabbath day. That on the Sabbath day, don't work. On the Sabbath day, shut everything, including wafanya kazi wako, wasifanya kazi, uachilie, waende ni siku ya mungu. In the image of God, you must understand what entails the kingdom of God for you to discharge for him. Kama kumna watu wamesoma historia in governments that know who they are. I thank God for our government today that they decided to go for the technocrats. For the professionals to be the cabinet secretaries of the government. Kila mutu na profession yake. Ana wekwa mahali anastahili. Na kama when I am borrowing from that. This is what I mean. That all ambassadors. Kama kuna mutu anastahili kuwa anajua taifa kutoka juha di chini. Upande na upande na dani is an ambassador. Because he is the, he is the Kenya abroad. He is the Uganda abroad. He is the USA in Kenya. They are bar you cannot travel to US until it, unless you go through the embassy. You can never travel from US to Kenya unless through the ambassadorial uh, office in US for Kenya. Praise God. Kama kuna mtu anafahamu, ukimuliza, how deep is Indian Ocean? The ambassador of Kenya to any nation must be aware of all the details about the country that he represents. But because of politics and poor leadership, you find idiots. Dio wamewekwa kwa hizo ofisi kwa sababu ya how they relate with those that are in government. But in the kingdom of God, there is no room for idiots. Praise the name of the Lord. Hakuna mulango wanyuma. If you are representing God, there are manners, there are the mandates, there are ways that the things of an ambassador who represent higher kingdom must do things. Praise the name of the Lord. Na utakuta ya kwamba, wakati umetembea, wakati umeishi in the image of God. Praise God. Kuna mambo itatendeka katika maisha yako. And so the word of the Lord would tell us after working for six days, the seventh day, you must rest. Praise God. But where we are today, people are working and working and working and working. All they can do is to send money to church. It's either to call. Now, wanaendelea na kazi. They never stop anything. To remember that all they do is about the kingdom of God. Where you have been put by God, it is the purpose of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Unakuta watu hawaendi kanisa anymore. Unakuta hakuna mtu wakona ajdani yake ya kurest. The resting was not just to recover your energy. It was about the reflection of who has been with you throughout. So that when he blesses you, you are not overcome by the blessings. You will not end up becoming a tycoon who has forgotten God. You will not end up becoming a millionaire who cannot bow down, who cannot understand that there are things that money will never buy. Praise God. You will always kneel down, come and fast and call upon the name of the Lord. Being in the image of God, it means exploring the requirement of being an ambassador of Christ and saying, Ata kama munaniona ni naendesha Rage Rover, mukingia kanisani, mutakuta mtu ambaye ni asha. Pare kwa mulango, because that is my work in the house of God. You will be humble enough, praise the name of the Lord, because you understand that you are in the image. Our God is so big. Yet he would send his only begotten son. To come and buy back.
back men and women who he can finish and create others but he humbled himself Jesus Christ praise the name of the lord kuna mambo ambayo tunastahili kuyajua that relationships and work hizi ni vitu ambazo Yesu amesema love one another and also have a sabbath to reflect on god love one another value each other the image of god calls us to love one another hata upendo umeisha katika doa upendo umeisha wa mtu na yule mwingine na unakuta people are switching marriages kama ni wardrobe wana wanavua hii anavaa hii anatoka hapa anaingia huku unakuta mtu nobody cares about even association kama uniongeleshi ni zawa waenda people don't care the spirit of humility the spirit of looking forward to what can i do in the life of my brother in the life of my sister kumfanya awe mzuri akue kama yesu yani there is no concern for one and another yet jesus said while we are in the image of god yesu mwenyewe akasema if you love this a new command i give to you love one another praise the name of the lord watu kazi wanafanya kama machines no sabbath no even a time to go and relax somewhere ukiangalia hata vile uh, organizations vile ambavyo hata mahali kama hata hapa kanisani vile ni mestructure kazi unakuta hata hakuna siku moja unaita off day na kwa hivyo if you are my employee I would want you to work day and night tirelessly kwa sababu mind yangu iko at the outcome it is not about building the relationship and so the world is overtaking the image of God in men it is making the men who are the ones that are manufacturing this kind of working plants wajipite na wawezwe but today I pray that God can perfect the image of him in our lives praise the name of the lord so we know i'm going to work on balance a born i tell the lord i want to represent you the way i should i desire to grow in faith i desire to reflect that before people my god every mandate you have given to me i shall demonstrate that i am the representative of jesus on earth this time in my generation in the name of jehovah god our father and our god perfect my image in you in Jesus name we pray God said let us create man and so he did that the ninth thing that God said in Genesis chapter 1 was this in verse 28 mahali ambapo Genesis our main text is Genesis chapter 1 for the whole month of October we have been dwelling on Genesis chapter 1 now we are in verse 28 God said this God blessed them and said to them be fruitful and increase in number fill the earth and subdue it rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves on the ground i want to say god bless them and they were blessed praise the name of the lord god we will bless us and when we are blessed no one will do anything about it if he blesses he has blessed us praise the name of the lord kama asha kuinulia kiwango kimeinuka na yeyote atakayeinua kitu kingine atashindwa god himself bless the man of god called adam and his wife eve and this is what god said the bible says god bless them and said be fruitful What this means is that the man that God created he did put the power the mechanism of production was put in man there is a seed in man this is why when you sit somewhere there is an idea falling in your head everywhere just take man everywhere hata kama the area is so foreign atakupatia idea utapeleka pasta katika engineering farm na pasta sio engineer na utasikia ameanza kukuambia si ufungue ofisi nyingine huko there is an idea of increase inside everyone unaikutanga hata mzee ameingia kwa kitchen na yeye si mpishi wakati mwingine hata unaweza kumwambia okay chef fulani si ukuje basi unionyeshe kukatakata boka kwa sababu ako na idea 
God did not make men without ideas. Adam was told, be fruitful. Be fruitful means if you are saying that this tree should be fruitful, what you mean is there is a tree that bears fruit. And so you are telling the tree, be fruitful. Dio mana yesu alipokutana na the fig tree. Ambayo haikuwa na matunda. Akailaani. Akalaani ule muti. Kwa sababu ya kukosa mazao. Because man and the woman, all the human beings, they are created to produce. Praise the name of the Lord. Produce in the economy. Produce in your house. Produce in your environment. Produce in your career. You must be productive inside you. Nadio mana ukiketi na kila mtu. Ni vizuri kujiuliza. How am I becoming productive in this group? The way to say that I don't need this particular friendship association. Ni kwa sababu unaangalia unapima. Who did I become after joining this team? Yani hii group ni konayo kwa social media how helpful is it to me inajaza tu my storage kwa simu ama kuna mambo muhimu tuna connect na the aluminas ama tuna connect na former colleagues ama na mtu mwingine hii inaisandia na nini you must come and ask yourself even husband and wife sit down and ask are we fruitful when i joined this job have you encouraged me when I join this particular group, is it beneficial? Ina tusaidiaje? Tulipo ingia katika lile kanisa la voice of God. How have we become fruitful? Tumekua aje ama ni pale pale tu. Man was made blessed to be fruitful. And fruitfulness is about production. The second thing that God said, He said, increase. In the same verse, He said, increase. Increase means reproduce. When a tree produces fruit, when you pick the fruit, inside the fruit many times, there are seeds inside it. You don't eat the seed. You eat the fruit and you plant the seeds. Kama kulipando wa begu moja, ikamea mti ambao umezaa matuda mia moja ama hamsini inamaanisha hizo fruit the pieces of fruit the 50 of them kuna begu hamsini that is reproduction praise the name of the lord it is about multiplication ni kuongezeka isiwe tu ni ile moja tumeajiriwa kwa kazi ya elfu kumi. that is production Elfukumi zimefika hapa. How now do we reproduce the 10,000 that next month sitapata 10,000? Nitapata 10,500. What am I doing with this capital? Praise God. Yani kwa kanisa, tumewekwa vipawa vya roho wa buwana danietu. Wewe ni muibaji, wewe ni muombezi, wewe ni mutia, ni, ni anayetia wengine imani, wewe ni mutoaji wa pesa kanisani. But beyond there, are you multiplying yourself? Are you in the road of discovery? What else can I do? I used to do this in the first month. What am I? Because a man and a woman, they are reproducers. Praise the name of the Lord. Increase. You will never increase if the only thing you have is that particular seed. Is that particular fruit. You never attempt things. You never move from where you are, the comfort zone. And you attempt other bigger things. How does it do? You must ask yourself, am I reproducing myself? Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati mungu alimuangalia Adam, akamuambia, be fruitful. There is something I put in you, Adam. Go and work on it. And after that, Adam, multiply yourself. You must fill this earth. Praise the name of the Lord. And so, the third thing God said is fill the earth. It means network. Is it too that the voice of God is just produced here? And it is continues to reproduce here. Apana, there is more world, there are more territories, more ground that are potential to be conquered. Praise the name of the Lord. Na diyo mana utatupata Facebook, utupata YouTube, utupata pale Instagram. Sasa tuko very active in TikTok. Utatupata kwa
kwa radio utatupata kwa tv na ikiwezekana very soon we will fly physically to other nations praise the name of the lord we must network we must get to the basis of people and tell them the voice of God is here to tell you God loves you. Praise the name of the Lord. To tell you there is another name that can heal you beyond witch doctors and witchcraft. Praise the name of the Lord. We must network. What are you doing about yourself? Umekaa tu wako kwa kaofisi moja, umekaa tu kwa wako kwa mshahara kamoja, umekaa hapo tu hiyo nyumba moja, umekaa hapo tu na hiyo the, the only gift you have ni hiyo tu. Ukaondolewa hiyo kitu. You know what covid has taught us? Covid taught us the aspect of diversification, the aspect of exploring other areas that could stand as fast aids as you wait when the major one imegongo ama inaenda through crisis but are you diversifying are you investing differently are you empowering yourself all around the world is here to be conquered praise god wameanza juzi kujenga nyumba za gorofa but ukisimama katika nyumba ya gorofa bado utaona vast blood ambayo hakuna nyumba imeinuka Kwa hivyo usiseme ati discovery ya magorofa ati huku kumejaa magorofa wapi hata mahali ninahubiria nina kuna gorofa hapa And so hata underground kuna spaces I've seen parking lot ambazo ziko basement manyumba mengi maofisi ye mengi yako chini but wewe uko tu hapa unasema tu unajua mashaba yamekuwa magumu nini nini diversify Praise God Like in, in the region that we are located in Hakuna investor hapa nimeona ame invest na parking lot. Yet all of these buildings unakuta nyumba imebeba familia zaidi ya mia moja. Magari mahali wame providea parking ni yale magari 20 ya kwanza. Na magari 8 hiyo ingine itakaa wapi? There must be people thinking business wise and saying we are going to invest kwa shamba lichimbwe chini basement 1 2 3 4 alafu iwe parking na tutakuwa tuna parking huko. You must feel the earth. How do you dominate the earth? Utakuta wa Kristo wengi tumebarikiwa na tuko na aspect ya kubarikiwa. But we are not exploring the investors mind. Tumeachia the wicked brothers. Tumeachia watu ambao wanaomba miungu mingine. How do you tunawaita matajiri wa ulimwengu? Kwa nini? You know sometimes it takes authority of something for people to know you. We have good leaders in this nation. People who fear the Lord. But you know what? They are so poor. They cannot find a place, a platform to contend for presidential office in our land. Kwa nini? And so the believers, we must come of age and say, I am in the image of God. I am saved. God is the one who blesses the labor of my hands. Na edi ya mesema, I increase, I be fruitful. Sasa mungu, I need to feel the earth. I want to network in my nation. Ya kwamba ni kienda kufanya campaigns za ijiri in Trokana. Ni nakuta jina langu wa shari jua. Because the man who went there and blessed them with a borehole was Pastor Kenyanjui and a voice of God church and ministry is cover. Praise the name of the Lord. Ya kwamba ni kingia uko maimaiyo. People know the man of God is here. Kwa sababu the next school iko hapo. I founded it. Praise the name of the Lord. I already stepped there and confirmed that the man of God coming in here. You know one time as you travel to, uh, to Narok. Along the my my Rock Road, utakuta kuna borehole pale ilichimbuliwa na TD Jakes. Na kwa hivyo huyo huyo mchungaji hata wakati alitembea hapa Kenya, praise God. Ni mtu ambaye hahitaji kufanya campaigns. Niliona tu tulionyeshwa kwa TV. Hakuna magari yalitembea huko yakisema mnaitwa mkutano, sijui wa nani hapana. Already his name is before him. Praise God. Na kwa hivyo kama wapendwa tungeomba, Mungu atubariki ya kwamba even when you go on the internet, ukiklik hiki unaletewa Christian brothers, Christian sisters ambao wamefanya hayo mambo, we shall dominate this world for God and we shall bring people to the salvation of Jesus Christ. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Tell the Lord, I refuse to be a dada head. Between my ears, they are full of ideas. They are channels. They are means, my God. Help me to network. Help me, my God, to fill the earth in the name of the Lord. I tell the Lord, I am blessed. Bless me again. Increase me, my Lord, that whatever is in me, I shall produce. And after the production, I will reproduce. After the reproduction, I am networking. In the mighty name of Jehovah God. Lord, grant it to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise God. And you know what God told Adam finally? In that particular blessing of verse 28, he said, subdue it. He said, overcome the world. He said, dominate. What does domination mean? I have seen people including myself. Sometimes I have to, to drive long distances because it is only in one store that the type of a commodity I want, eco. That commodity, the manufacturer of that commodity have dominated the marketplace. Ya kwamba nitapita maduka yote kama haina hiyo kitu because the person who have it have dominated. Na hata nikasema nitatumia zingine I'm just setting up myself for disappointment. Dominate. Make sure if you are a preacher, you preach so well that when people ask for you to preach for them, they will stick to your diary. Na hawata kuriplace because you are someone and your revelation is not with anyone else. Praise God. When you pray, pray and invest in prayer that when people send you for prayers, you have dominated. You are a Christian who is not ashamed. You are a believer who has walked the steps of Jesus. And so you have qualified to be in the office of an ambassador of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Adam Akambiwa, dominate. I have created the lions as the kings of the jungles. But Adam dominated them. This is why in Kenya... We have Masai Mara. We have great parks, national parks. All the world is flying into this nation. Kwa sababu, the Kenyan government have been able to preserve different kinds of lions. The man has dominated the kings of the jungle. Praise God. But even when it was made, it was still a wild animal. But God told Adam, inside you, I have placed I have installed in you the capacity to dominate the cobras, the capacity to dominate the biggest animals like elephants, the capacity to discover the minute object palatine on the, on the ground of the sea. Yani wewe ni mekupatia the sea. Explore now how you can invest and get the treasures there is. Praise the name of the Lord. You must dominate. When you sing, sing so well that you cannot be replaced. Praise the name of the Lord. When you give, be faithful in your giving that heaven has no otherwise but to do what it is said it will do to the givers. Praise the name of the Lord. You must be the kind of a person who is subduing, dominating. You know what we have in the, in the brothers in the Christian fellowship? It's the cry babies. That's what they say in Greek. This is the sukman. Huyu die huwa ananiharibia jina. Huyu die ameua doa yangu. Huyu die ame, ame, ame nifungia milango. How? Who is he? Who does he think he is? Praise the name of the Lord. We must be dominant. We must be the dominant we. Praise God. Ya kwamba, unajua tukifanya hesabu. Kuna hesabu tulikuwa ilikuwa inaitisha. Was it? GCD Greatest Common Divisor Najua wegi hapa tulianguka shule kwa sababu ya hesabu And I don't uh, intend to remind you of how you failed But here we have come You must be the kind The greatest denominator Praise the name of the Lord Lazima uinuke mahali uripo Useme I will not be dominated Because the word says dominate the earth Why should I be dominated by enemies? How? Who, how? Ati kuna mtu wako hapo, anapambana na huduma ya voice of God. Ati itanguka kwa sababu ya yeye. Enda ajaribu na wakuja na wengine. 
wa increase the report ile watarudi nayo praise the name of the lord watagonga wakute ni mwamba na mwamba wa voice of god ni yesu kristo praise the name of the lord mapepo yatatumwa yakifika hapa yanapatana na uwepo wa mungu and i say to them the gates of hate shall not prevail against the church of christ praise the name of the lord you must be firm in your marriage ya kwamba kama kuna mtu anataka kupenyea katikati anakutana na firewall praise god anakuta antivirus is already updated inachapa hiyo unasikia unajua ukiweka kwa computer uh, some powerful uh, i don't want to market for anybody ukiweka some antiviruses kwa computer alafu unaiambia scan ikianza kuscan unasikiaga sauti zingine hizo ni virus inakuliwa na ina inamkumalizia ina clear kila kitu we must be installed praise god with the reality of dominating with the reality that we are authorities we are not begging but we are ruling it is in us to rule praise the name of the lord Sinuwe mkono wako mbele za Bwana. Umwambie Mungu nimelia sana, hata nimetoroka hapa na pale nikifikiria hao ni maadui, but I want to dominate now. My table, my God, my banquet, it shall be in the presence of my enemies. Hawata nitingiza tena. Somebody pray for your marriage. Mwambie Mungu doa yangu, hakuna adui ataipata. Somebody pray even about your career, your job, you are whatever that you are. Tell the Lord I will not be shaken in my service in the church. In in my area of domination my god i don't allow nonsense i will not allow any challenge to push me i shall push it in the name of the lord father in the name of the lord i pray that whatever these believers are engaging in are planning to do have already started my god they are on the path to dominate the world as they have networked and filled it in the mighty name of the lord i pray for our production i pray for our reproduction and i pray jehovah we shall network and finally, we shall dominate as the president of every company that we founded. Oh God, help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise God. And finally, the number 10 of what God said and it was is in verse 29 to verse 30. Verse 29 to 30, Genesis chapter 1. It says this. In Genesis chapter 1, it says something very amazing there. The Bible says, then God said. This is the 10th time in the book of Genesis chapter 1 when God said. Then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth. And every tree that has fruit with the seed in it. They will be yours for food. Praise God. Verse 30 says this. And to all the beasts of the earth. And all the birds of the air. And all the creatures that move on the ground. Everything that has the breath of life in it. I give every green plant for food. And it was so. Praise God. God fed the humans. And God fed every living thing the message here is god will feed you praise the name of the lord god shall feed us god fed the man god fed the world the domesticated and every organism god fed it god will feed us praise the name of the lord so you come on my study ya kukula because i want to destroy the formula of food right now but I, was, I also want to encourage us about feeding vizuri. He mambo ya kukula ni mambo mzuri sana. Na diyo maana utakuta kuna changamoto. Even when we are planning to start fasting, utakuta tayari ukona enough excuses. Daktari ya lisema ati ni na umagwa na pande hii. Akasema lazima ni kule diyo tubo ibalance. Ile fuke pande hii na pande hii weke mifupa. There will be all the notions and formulas there will be all reasons why I can't fast. Because food, there is something strong about food. Mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu alimpatia chakula. Praise God. Bada ya kumuambia dominate everything, akampatia chakula. Kamuambia Adam na food iko hapa. Na ninajua hata wazazi wakitoka nyumbani, 
Huwa unaambia mtoto na iliole that's another greek na food iko hapo kwa fridge ama nimeweke nimetoa kwa freezer iko hapo juu mtatengeneza lunch every one of us hata mikutano ya chakula even with jesus the famous scripture ambayo watu wengi wanaijua iko wapi ni about the five loaves of bread na the two fish watu walikula eh zilibaki namna gani nyingi people know even the the sermons ambazo zimetengenezwa zikahubiriwa sana watu waka, wakawa charged ni ile ya kwamba Mungu atafanya mikato yako tano isiishe sema amen unakuta wakati food imemenshoniwa kuna nguvu ya chakula praise god even esau alipoteza urithi wake kwa chakula ya yakobo the brother And so food has something. Na tukianza safari ya kufunga kuanzia kesho siku saba, one of the challenges we we'll have is about food. But you know what? God feeds us. Praise God. Kuna wakati waliangalia Yesu hakuli, wakamuliza bwana Yesu ukuli. Yesu akasema I have other food you don't know. He was talking about the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord that I am the word. When I see people hear the word, that is my food. Lakini hawakuelewa vizuri wao wenyewe because we are made to feed. We cannot live without eating. What does food say in the word of the Lord? Kwa sababu kula ni vizuri in Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 24. The Bible says this. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verses 30 uh, verses 24. It says this. A man can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in his work this too i see is from the heart of god praise the name of the lord a man can do nothing else as great as eating and drinking na kuenjoy kazi ile unafanya hii nayo inatokana na mkono wa bwana praise god eating food is from the heart of god chakula sio pepo Kushikwa na jaa sio pepo wakati tutafunga usianze kukemea jaa ukisema oh lord bona umeniacha hii hii hi, hi, ngaragu hii famine hii starvation hii kukosa chakula na ikemea usikemee wewe ondoka mahali kuna food enda utembee kidogo ama ujifungie kwa bedroom mahali ya kuna food utaovaka mafuta few hours praise god Food is not demonic it's not evil God created man to be fed by him The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verses 18 something else about food In Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verses 18 The word of the Lord says this Then I realized that it is good and proper for a man to eat and drink and to find satisfaction in his toilsome labor <clears throat> under the sun during the few days of life god has given him for this is his lot praise god another repetition for emphasis in chapter 5 the bible would say this in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 7 this is where the challenge now comes after the lord has supplied food and everything This is what we are told. Do not be idolaters as some of them were. Some of the Israelites, they were idolaters, idolaters. They worshiped idols. Do not be idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and got up to indulge in pagan worship. Praise the name of the Lord. Wa mahali chakula inaingilia ni wakati mahali chakula inakuwa shida ni wakati chakula inakuzuia kumtumikia na kutafuta uso wa Bwana praise the name of the lord food is there but that food should not affect your relationship with god food should not hinder you from seeking the face of the lord no excuse about food and when i say no excuse I'm not including the medical uh, medical challenges that maybe you are going through. 
I know there are some people who are sick already in hospital. Others are nursing. Others are living with a certain condition. At that juncture, I'm not talking about that because to you and for you, food is part of the medication. But when you are healthy, food should never stand between you and God. When there is a season of prayer, when there is a season of fasting, kwa sababu hii mambo itakuja kwa nyumba yako utaona watoto ile roho wako nayo sio roho ya kawaida. Sio roho ya kijiti at discipline. This must be something else ambayo itatolewa na maombi na itakubidi kama mzazi you fast to deliver your children. You fast to fight their battles. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna mambo ya kikazi utagundua. This is more than keeping the policies of the company. It is about demonic attacks in this office. Na hapo itakubidi ufunge ndio uweze kukamilisha the mandate of enjoying your job. Praise the name of the Lord. And so food haistahili kuwa Mungu. Tunaambiwa walikula wakamuka wakiwa na joto wakaanza kuinamia miungu mingine ambayo walikuwa nayo on in the wilderness na hapo Mungu akawaangamiza akawamaliza because they did not go beyond food kuna watu wameshikwa koo na chakula yani ata and this will be a temptation tomorrow on the first day utasema leo nitaanzia saa sita za usiku kufunga lakini uenda ukipitia tu kwa one of the streets utakuta umechukua ka the african uh, <laughs> tuachane na hiyo <laughs> I, I had thought about the african uh, sausage ambao ni mutura kwa sasa in hebrew but utakutana pengine na popcorns utakula ukisha meza ndio unakumbuka guy why we not <laughs> hatujaanza ku fast utakuta hata food umeuma hata unaendeza ndaingia tu kwa supermarket na umebeba vitu kwa mifuko unasema ni vile tu lakini god bado atani unasikia kichwa kinakuuma unakimbia hapo unakula you know food has a way of drawing you from a serious business in the kingdom of god praise god we are hindered two times one do not idolize do not make food some power or a rule or a government in your life do not allow chakula kiweze kusema vile utaka vile utaishi na vile maisha ilivyo even in your house wakati hakuna chakula do not allow kwa sababu kama kuna kitu kinaweza fanya watu wagombane wapigane na hata doa itingike ni chakula there is a way that the devil even manipulates food Unakuta chakula tu watu wameshindwa kufunga kwa sababu ya chakula and they never make it in their destinies. Lakini pia kuna watu ambao wanakula lakini hawafanyi kazi. People who really want to eat but they are not working. Unakuta mtu ametembea kwako ametembea kwa huyo mwingine amekuomba hiki amekuomba kile lakini hafanyi kazi yet anataka kukula Sijui kama mmekutana na hao watu Inua mkono unionyeshe kama ni mimi natembea kwa roho na anga peke yangu Umekutana na mtu hafanyi kazi lakini kwa kukula ni namba moja Angalia mwenzako muulize ayua mkuli namba moja bila kazi You know the word of the Lord says this about feeding such a person in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 10 Inasema hivi because God feeds the people to work you are never fed for anything else una feed mtoto wakue aende shule aendelee the bible says this in second thessalonians chapter 3 and verses 10 night are we we should be in second thessalonians you have given me first thessalonians i need second thessalonians Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verses 10 It says this For even when we were with you this we commanded you I'm using the Philips and the message version so if you uh, you could help me with the Philips version 
or you help me with the message version, the message Bible, help me with 2 Thessalonians. It is the last verse I am doing, the last scripture uh, for this. The Bible says in, uh, in, in NIV version, you also look for me the Philips version and also the, the message version. It says this, for even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. If a man will not work, he shall not eat. Praise God. When we were with you, even when I am away, I give you this law. That mtu ambaya fanyi kazi, asipewe chakula. Hapa wazazi, watoto wetu anastahili kukula baada ya kazi. Mtoto kama hasomi, asikule. Mtoto kama haoshi vyombo, asikule. Mtoto kama hafagi nyumba, asikule. Mtoto kama hatumu ikuwa duka na kuena na kurudi, asikule. So, because what you are instilling, you are instilling a discipline. You are training your children in the way they should go. Praise God. You are raising them to become work, hard-working people. You are raising leaders. You are raising people who shall be asked to provide, not to consume only. And so, as we grow up, did you have the Philips? I repeat again. The same verse in different versions. The Philips Bible inaweza kutueleza namna hii. I hope it apatikana. The Philips version. In the NIV is what we, we, we talked about. When we were with you, this we commanded you. That if any would not work, neither should he eat. Na kwa hivyo chakula as good as it is. Food as good and as important as available and as everything. Two things about food. Don't make food your master. Praise God. There comes moments when you must say no to food because other things are better to do. And secondly, don't feed anyone who does not work. Because by doing so, you are encouraging laziness and you are also growing crime. Kwa sababu wakati uyo mtu, ata shidu wakujitafutia chakula, ata fanya act of crime na hata muamini mungu. Na pia kija hata kanisani, hata weza kutumikia huyu mungu kwa sababu food has a power, has a way to manipulate people. The Bible also says, I don't want to quote another verse, but I can mention that scripture in the Proverbs. Inasema ya kwamba wakati umeitua na tajiri mahali kuna chakula, chukua kisu uweke kwa koyako. Because that particular leader, he is about to manipulate you on a certain area. Wakati umealikuwa kwa chakula, make sure you are as sensitive as possible. Because something dire will cop up crop up there. Itatokea pale. Na lazima uwe, you are ready that you will not be manipulated. Praise God. Suinu ya mkono wako bele zabwana and tell the Lord, feed me your God. Help me my father. Even as I go to the mountain of the seven days, I desire to be led of you. I desire your hand to be upon me for the glory and for the honor of your holy name. Our father and our God, we thank you for your word. Help us to wait on you and to count on you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank God for his word. And even as we enter into the month of November from the midnight on today, inaomba ya kwamba tutaweza kuingia kwa haya maombi. The theme of our prayer season is finishing strong, finishing well, being victorious. It's actually victorious finish. Kumaliza na ushindi. And so make sure that uh, umeingia katika haya maombezi. Tutakuwa tuna live stream every day in the morning. Kwanzia saa tatu hadi sane za asubuhi. And so if you are in the office, you will be catching up with us uh, pale kwa Facebook page. Uh, ya Pastor Kinyanjui Joseph, I will be doing it with my phone. Na tutakuwa tunaomba for one hour. However, in the morning, tutakuwa na maumbezi hapa. Tutakuwa na morning devotion, serious morning devotion. Kwanzia 6 a.m. mpaka 7 a.m. Every day, tutakuwa hapa alafu sata, satatu mpaka sane. Na jioni pia, tutakuwa na revival meetings every day throughout this week. Hizi siku saba ni siku za maombi. 
Praise God. Kwa hivyo in the morning 6am to 7am tutakuwa hapa tunaomba na tunapata wazo la kutuelekeza katika maombezi ya siku pia saa tatu mpaka saa nne tuna live stream pale na pia tunakuja jioni every day there will be items that we are praying about kama kesho jioni on monday evening tutakuwa tunajiombea katika safari ya kuomba it will be general for all of us then tuesday tutaweza kuombea watoto wazazi na wale ambao tunaombea dugu zetu na dada zetu tutakusanyika hapa tutaomba then on Wednesday we will be having items ambazo pia nitaweza ku, kuwa, kuwawekea pale kwa our database wale wote ambao wako kwa our software wataweza kupata uh, those messages the items ambazo tunafanya katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa hivyo ninawauliza tuweze kuingia katika maombezi we saturate in prayer because we must finish strong this year by the grace of God amen na Mungu atatuwezesha na atatubariki wale ambao tulikuwa nasi online Mungu wabariki sana wainue tukutane nanyi kwa the second service kuanzia saa 5 hadi saa 7 God bless you and God be with you amen